How's it going guys? Lego Mock Tutorials here with the second episode of Behind the Scenes Building Battlefront 2 and we'll be taking a closer look at my Lego Felucia mock. Now let's get into the video. The mock totals 58 studs long by 46 studs wide and is enclosed by a black border. In one corner of the mock is the Republic's command post. I didn't do anything fancy to light this one up as there's a large hollow area underneath. I just stuck a torch under it. There's a health and ammo droid here to fix up the clones and I've dotted crates around to make the area look a bit more interesting. Running through the centre of the mock, splitting up the droid and Republic sides, is this stream. I've used trans clear plates at the edges where it is shallower and trans light blue in the middle for the deeper part. I think I probably should have included an intermediate depth with trans clear on top of trans light blue so that it isn't such an abrupt change but that's something I know for future now. Something that I am quite happy with in this stream is the 1x1 one one plates and tiles in light and dark grey as well as light and dark bluish grey under the trans clear to represent stones at the bottom of the stream. On the other side of the stream is the fungal tree which the droids are using for their command post. I've used tan for the inside and a mix of reddish brown and dark reddish brown for the bark which is attached to the side of the tree using snot bricks. Coming off of it to the right hand side is a branch that the droids use to get to the top of the tree. Underneath it is this turret which has to be destroyed in the last objective in the level and behind the turret is a mini kit from the Lego Star Wars games that I've included as an easter egg. Now that I've covered each area of the mock I'll have a look at the plants that I've included. First up is this big blue plant. Most of the other mocks I've seen have built these using trans light blue but I've used most of mine for the stream so I opted for these satin trans dark blue leaf pieces with a carrot top piece poking out of the top. While it does look like the plant it's based off of, it is a bit small for mini pig scale. I've also included 10 of these smaller orange plants, which I'm really happy with, as they are very close to what they should look like in both appearance and size. Next up are these odd looking bubble shaped plants. I've used trans clear mini fig heads, separated by 2x2 two two reddish brown dish pieces. This is the last plant I've included that is based on a specific plant from the source material and I think it does a pretty good job of looking like it's supposed to. I've also included a smaller version as well as a larger version of this plant as well. The next is one of my favourites. It's this blue and pink plant which I've managed to curve by running one of these hose pieces through the middle. I've also designed this yellow and black plant which consists of a four sided snot brick in the middle and uses these angled bar pieces for branches topped off with claw pieces. Finally, I've grabbed all of my olive green plant pieces and dotted them about the map in small groups to fill a lot of the remaining space. While I wish I could have made a few more plants to fill up the space at the back of the mock as it looks a bit empty compared to other areas, I couldn't really justify buying more pieces to do that as I wouldn't be able to find a use for most of them in my future mocks. And that's it for this video. Up next in the series is a Kashyyyk mock which is already well underway. If you liked the video and learned something useful for your own mocks, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more amazing LEGO content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.